you're not gonna get bored. Every time I walk through, I find something else that I didn't remember seeing the first time. And that's hard to do when you kind of have a minimalistic aesthetic. Goodness gracious. It's pretty incredible. This is a good one. It's a little bit different. So normally we interview the homeowners. Today, mom and I are just sharing and we're touring the home and showing it off. This is mom's very close friend. I mean, your bestie for a long, long time. Long time. Like yeah. how long? Too long to count. We yes. oh, over 20 years. I mean, we've been really close and we've been watching Tammy and Jesse build their dream home and we've been asking to get in, but you know, there's just little touches that, that she wanted to make sure we're finished. She's a little bit shy on camera, <laughs> but she is one of my dearest and sweetest friends in the whole wide world. And I'm so excited today to share her home with you. Yes. And clearly she has incredible taste but also her husband. He's kind of the secret sauce. So they did have a designer and Jesse and the designer partnered together to bring this to life. But I will say that this is Tammy's character. I mean, yeah. she is very bright and bubbly. Her home too is very light and airy and it has pastels yeah. and incredible, beautiful wallpapers and textiles. And you guys are gonna love it. Yes. Let's start with the living room. You walk into the entry with this beautiful brick accent and I mean the chandelier and oh wow the chandeliers are showstoppers but these beautiful chandeliers paired with Chicago brick yeah it, magical yes and so you walk in and she has like a little sitting area and then the living room with this glorious fireplace so this is a marble or maybe it might even be a quartz but it is inlaid with gold, yes. which makes it just really, really sing. It's over the top, but it is stunning because it goes, it's so many feet tall and it goes all the way to the floor. And then they've got a TV with a sound bar. And just on either side, she has flanked some beautiful art pieces. We don't know all of the places that they sourced. Susan is a designer and took them to a Dallas Market and yeah. some high-end places to find some of these really unique pieces that you're just not going to see everywhere. I will round up all the like even look-alikes that I can find yeah. if you love this look because what I can anticipate is people are going to love that this is elevated and definitely you can tell that they hired a designer but it's so cozy and so family friendly yes. and yes nothing is too fussy no. when you come into tammy's home you feel like you can just lounge on the couch sit in one of these chairs outside on the patio it's yeah. just amazing outdoor space just everywhere you look it's a place to just want to cozy up with a cup of coffee yep and I think what people are gonna love too is that there is, it's bright and airy, but there are so many pops of colors in different spaces, especially like this powder bath with the wallpaper and all the wallpaper has texture. So lots of texture, lots of pops of color and interest. You're not gonna get bored. Every time I walk through, I find something else that I didn't like remember seeing the first time and that's hard to do when you kind of have a minimalistic aesthetic yeah. you know yeah dining room this is an open concept you walk in from the entry you have the living here the dining here and then the kitchen i love that it all flows together so i can imagine like thanksgiving and all of that being right. really fun in their previous home a lot more ornate it was built during the tuscan era so yeah. it's fun to see these ornate details in the dining table but then paired with a very modern chandelier so it's like yeah. the old and the new yeah Tammy did actually choose these pieces. This oh. was, I mean, she, she was able to go to market and find things that she loved. And of course then Susan worked from there, but she chose the table and chairs. She loved this look and I love this look. Yeah. But what I love about this whole grand space about how wide open it is, is that it's very, also very dedicated yeah. at the same time. 
Another thing that I love that's taking this elevated look and making it a little bit more casual and welcoming is they even have a kid's area. That was not the plan. Tammy has lots of grandbabies. It's cute, sugary, sweet. And so she has more spaces that we will, I'll pop up a little preview of the kids' spaces in this home. But they were gonna have just like a little sitting area there. Yeah, well, she called it a hearth room. She yeah. called it like a hearth space, right? And because it's right next to the fireplace and she wanted to make cozy seating there. But I actually love the kids' table. I think she should keep I think it. She should keep I just it. think there's something when you have the littles and they have a space and they can enjoy it, it also keeps their hands off of the things you don't want them to yeah. touch. I am excited about these spaces, but we need to go to the kitchen. Let's do it. Right now. There's, there's so many details. So if you are designing a kitchen, renovating a kitchen, building a new home, we're gonna break down all the things that make this kitchen amazing. Because when, when we were kind of delaying the tour, she's like, I have to finish this and I have to finish this. And we were like, yes, we know there's details to the home. But I, I can't wait another second to share this kitchen. Between the flooring, the countertops, the secret pantry. Let's just talk about the backdrop to start with. They've got this incredible gold vent yeah. hood and they have all cafe appliances. They have this stunning quartz but then they paired it with a very rich exotic looking wood and so not only did they utilize the light and the dark but then they also did some other kind of a, more of an exotic looking wood i'm not sure what it is on the other cabinetry and somehow these light and dark just with the golds all come together to make this just this lushy dream kitchen i mean this is my dream of dream kitchens oh yeah for sure well i okay they mix so the floor kind of has a brick vibe and then they have the white brick then they mix stains and they mix countertops and they mix metals so the amount of variety in the the elements used in this kitchen is really hard to pull off yeah you have to i mean susan clearly knew yeah. how to do that it's but a gift and there are just so many different elements that you look at and you're thinking that is a lot of different elements but they all are so cohesive and come together so list. well so let's talk about the ceiling yeah the ceiling again is the fifth wall and its own treatment and they've done shiplap and then they've got this really amazing warm putty color on the wood beams and again, it, it kind of calls back to the color of the floor. So all of these things, while they're very unique, go together. Yeah, they flow really well. Another thing that I love that they did, where the stovetop is, they did a waterfall of the soapstone, but then the backsplash is the quartzite with a little ledge right there. I know we're going on and on about this kitchen, but let me just say some other things that could help you when you're designing your kitchen. When you inset your cabinets like they did on each side of the space in these glorious arched uh, brick yeah. that they painted white, when you inset that, that automatically just, to me, it elevates the space, right? Yeah. And then um, I will say is regarding the mixed metals, I mean, the sconces that are along the window and along the different spaces, the black and the gold i mean it really does again just tie everything with a bow but mostly the light infused from these glorious windows really does yeah. absolutely make this kitchen my favorite of all kitchens yep of all time <laughs> i can anticipate people being like the uppers there's not enough storage there's definitely storage in this kitchen yes. although there is not uppers where the windows are where the stovetop and the sink there is an entire situation here with the pantry which is actually hidden it does not appear to be a pantry it looks like a cabinet you simply push the door in and you go in it's it's an entire walk-in pantry and if you are planning a kitchen or looking for inspiration drawers really do big drawers provide more storage than a cabinet because 
you have more strategic ways to organize compared to a typical cabinet. And this kitchen is loaded with drawers. Another thing that I know, I believe Jesse mentioned was his idea is the trash can. Do you know where the trash can is? Uh, it looks like it's a drawer. Well, it looks like it's three drawers, but it's yes. just one drawer. Yes. So I think hiding the pantry, the fridge, the trash can, everything looking like it's just drawers makes it really elevated, but also it was- It's functional. Functional. Before we're going to, are we going upstairs? Or are we going to the, um, where do you want to go? Wherever you want to go. Well, on the way, let's go upstairs first. On the way upstairs, there is an amazing Wherever patio you go. with a beautiful fireplace. The porch can be screened in. It has a great sitting area and a dining table. And it really is an extension of the inside, which mm -hmm. I just, I dream of a space like that. And it reminds yeah. me a lot of Stephanie's patio. I just yeah. think that's a... Yeah, so actually Stephanie Benedetto, who you guys know and love of Blooming Ivy Lane, her husband actually, Matt, built the home yeah. with Jesse. And this was something that they did and Jesse loved it as well. And so it's something he's kind of proud of. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I would, would be, be proud of. <laughs> okay, let's go upstairs. So you go up the stairs and there's the sweetest little playhouse built in mm -hmm. the side of the stairs mm -hmm. this is like a grandbaby dream yeah it or not i mean she, Actually, she still has kids she still has kids at home but she also has grandbabies so it is a dream of all children all let's children. just say that yes and even your daughter like we've just only been here for birthday parties but the last time we came she knew her birthday was coming up and we came to tammy's and she thought that tammy was throwing her her birthday party yes because because that's what Tammy does. Yes. I mean, it's just kid palooza. Yes. So you come in, and this is the bunky room. I think we're gonna call it right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, look how cute these bunk beds are. The most beautiful color. Yeah. The pillows, the mix of the pink with the blue, and just the thought for detail. Like even the ladder is a different color than the actual beds. Yeah. So it's a tone on tone situation. And then the bump out with the bench seat, it also has a callback to that lighter blue color yeah. and just a sweet little pink lantern light in there. And, um, but again, something that's really cool feature about the spaces and that we just learned really is if you have a good foundation, you really can do just about anything. And these, uh, floors upstairs and in the bedrooms are a wool carpet mm -hmm. and this one is this beautiful blue and it's just blue and cream and it's so so stunning so when you walk in you have the white walls but the blues with the trim the floor yeah. it just all ties it together downstairs they have the by the way we didn't mention um, white oak plank the thick plank yeah and so they do foundation good in this house <laughs> definitely and I think having space for the kids to get messy too so we get a lot of comments like do kids live there and yes I mean mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. kids are here and so I think it's just about having space and that is definitely here yeah. so you go down through the little la stair landing and there's a book case with cutesy stuff and then the most sweet little girl's room mm -hmm. i mean yeah addie's room is so special because again it is tammy's dream the pinks and the pastels and yeah all these things and her um, light and her light and all I, of that yeah. i think the cool thing about that room is it will age so well oh yeah like mm -hmm. you could be in college and still be like i love my room back at yeah. home it's not yeah. just a you know kid room that it is not limited by age at it is it would be appealing to any age i mean i want to i want to do it yeah again it's those foundational pieces um in the ensuite there's the marble and the beautiful tile yeah and so that is just something that is timeless mm -hmm. and also age appropriate for littles and bigs yeah and the lighting in the bathroom is really cool too stunning it has like the little bow, the Kate Spade bow, and I just... Yeah, I mean, we could go on, like I said, in this home, 
the attention to detail in every room is so amazing. We could talk about it for hours because every little nook and cranny, every space is completely, even the, down to the doorknobs. Yeah, and all the color people. People love to talk about how they desire more color when they watch videos or you know, see our posts. And I just wanna share the bathroom down the hall. It's pink and green. Yes. So there is so much fun splashes of color in here. But and wait till we get to Tammy's office. Yeah. You want to go? Mm -hmm. Purple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this office, another pop of color, lots of fun texture. I feel like it's kind of that granny chic that people are loving with the green mixed with the lavender, lavender block print. And so, yeah, this is all lavender, all Tammy, all day. Yeah. Right. This yes. is really her personality. And then something we hadn't talked about, but within every room, Jesse uh, inset the TVs into a frame. Yeah. So they're all frame TVs. Well, we see a lot of frame TVs, like the Samsung TVs, but what I like about these being inset is it camouflages them even more. And so yeah. I, feel, and I feel like you could actually, you would maybe have the ability if you did want to put an actual piece of art over it. Oh yeah. You could do you that. You really could. Okay. so. As I said, Tammy uses this office. She has a, a magazine that's called Living, and that's actually how we met. And so it's just a really cool story, and I really have never really shared very personal testimony with y'all, but just briefly, I'll tell you that I was very young with young babies at home, and my husband and I were starting our business, and it wasn't going really well. Meanwhile, Tammy and Jesse and another couple were starting Living Magazine, and they were also struggling to kind of get things off the ground. And so you all know that I'm a believer, I'm a follower of Jesus, and I just said, what in the world are we gonna do? And so I started praying, and I really felt like God was calling me to write, though I'm not a writer. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, she, she won't even let me write the blog, you guys. No. Um, and so, but my little boy was like three at the time, and he had a little golden book, and I walked by his bedroom, and he had these little baby sunglasses on upside down, and he looked over and he said, Mama, the king wants you to write for him. So meanwhile, I'm trying to do everything I can, and I'm calling this magazine to advertise for dad so that we can get business, and Tammy blows in the house, and she's like, oh my goodness, your home's so cute, and because we've always loved homes, me and Tammy. And she said, and your son's so cute. And I said, well, he's gonna have to go to school. I'm gonna have to get a job uh, because we're just really struggling financially. She said, you know, we're really struggling too. And we really kind of sought the Lord and we feel like we're supposed to um, dedicate two pages of the magazine to share testimonies, um, just really about the goodness of God in the lives of his people. And we are, basically wanting to do that. And I was like, she said, what do you think you're supposed to do? And I said, well, I think I'm supposed to write. Um, but she said, maybe you can write for us. And I said, well, there's just one problem. I've never written anything in my life and I'm not a writer. And Tammy's this really faithful, faith-filled, amazing woman of God. And she goes, eh, that doesn't matter. And so that's how the journey began. And for 14 years, I wrote through the vine and I'm gonna cry because it's so emotional for me. But that's how I met Tammy. And so she really does use this office to work from home. And she today and her husband have a highly successful magazine that runs throughout Texas. And, um, and in there you can still find the column. I don't write it any longer because I'm hanging out with Shelby doing this, but it's called Through the Vine and that's our testimony. Yep. Yeah. You want to go to the bedroom? Let's do it! <laughs> okay, the color people are going to be happy in here as well because there's pops of colors, more pink and blue. So pretty. And I think something that's really fun is the textures, the carpet. Yeah. The wallpaper. The wall carpet's amazing, again. And we're going back to aesthetics now. Shelby doesn't like when I get gushy. But... No, I'm okay with the gushy. I love this story. It, this is kind of fun because normally when we interview the homeowner, it is, they're the ones telling the story and we're the ones telling the story and you are really connected. So I did, no, I, I, okay. I, I like it, but I, you gotta have the mix of both. You do. So. And so we're back to the aesthetic and 
Tammy's daughter, Jessica, who mm -hmm. we adore, also has a love for design and an eye for beautiful furniture pieces. And bringing so, things back to bringing life. Bringing things back to life. And so she and her husband did this stunning dresser, and I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm sure Jess could tell us, but the hardware, the hardware color. painted it this beautiful, and it actually just makes this whole space sing on this wall with the frame TV again inset into the wall. So her company is Lauren Douglas. We love that. I was like, why is it called Lauren Douglas? It's both their middle names. Yeah. So it's a fun way. They do, I'm pretty sure. They ship. They ship furniture. Yeah. So if you see a piece that you love on their Instagram, I'll have the Instagram linked in the description. I love the things that they've transformed and it's all really character rich, but can be mixed in a modern aesthetic or right. a more vintage. So that's the fun thing about it is you don't have to have a particular style to be able to resonate with this. But older pieces that have been brought back to life have a lot higher quality than yes. what we're seeing mass produced today. So that yes. is why I love yeah. what they're doing. I do too. I love it. And then... Tammy's bed is backed up to this luscious, beautiful, again, textured wallpaper. It's like a grass cloth, but it's in this beautiful, stunning blue. And she's just got a beautiful linen headboard and yummy linen bedding. And then she, yummy and luscious. I have never, we have done so many tours. And I think because we're normally asking questions and people are describing their stuff. Well, I am using the words that Tammy uses. So <laughs> because Tammy is not in view, she would call this yummy and luscious. And well, so therefore it is, I am calling it yummy and luscious. It is yummy and luscious. It is just so funny because the verbiage is. Yeah, it's not mine. It's, it's what Tammy would say. So I'm trying to give you a piece of her heart too. Yeah. The bathroom. I think their primary suite is so amazing. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> that wallpaper just yeah. Yeah. makes it pop. So it's very much just a big wide open space and then they have the floating van vanity and vanity. vanity. <laughs> <laughs> They're not bougie like that, you guys. They have very beautiful, you know, taste, but I wouldn't say that Tammy would say vanity, vanity. but she would say yummy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they have this beautiful floating vanity. vanity, and then they have a solid floor with solid glass, sheer glass walls of the shower. Yeah. And then we have wonderful closets. Oh, can we talk about the ceiling? Because we really didn't talk about the ceiling in here. Yeah. We, can we, we forgot. forgot we can talk about the ceilings. And I'm also just noticing something, speaking of ceilings, how they did put the tile on the ceiling in the shower. Wow. Okay. Did you just notice that? Yeah, I just noticed that. <laughs> okay, so they put the tile on the shower and the ceiling. That's great. It, it maybe it's a steam shower. Yeah, because it's got the little glass flipped I out. Wonder so if I it's think a steam shower. The fifth wall, and and in here in the primary bedroom, they have the shiplap with the beams, and then this amazing chandelier. Chandelier, and I I think the chandelier in the primary bathroom, the chandelier in the primary bedroom. They are so exquisite and stunning, and yet so much of the other things around them that they're paired with are very simple, like the shiplap, the white marble. Yeah. yeah. So you go through the closet and you get to her prayer closet. When they built that home, that was really important to incorporate. She had it in her old, her previous home. And it's funny because when I used to babysit for them, I remember her showing us her prayer closet and that was yeah and just like the office space that gets used daily because she offices out of the house she is in that room at 5 a.m every morning i am not that disciplined of a person but that girl for as long as i've known her is in that room at 5 a.m it's important that she had that space and you know for jesse he also made sure that the kids had everything they needed that tammy had everything she needed and um, and then he has some fun things that he loves about the house too, which yeah. is a lot of the exterior. But yeah, yeah so lots of thought for detail here. Very much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to close out? No. I, Are you making I do. fun? Well, I just feel like this is just new. I feel like I was interviewing you. Like I was. Well, 
you kind of were because I was vicariously like being Tammy, <laughs> living like as if I were Tammy, living through the oh. eyes of Tammy. Oh. Okay. You're funny. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, it's really cool to be able to share your very good besties home and how it's come along since they've built it. So much character, so much thought, so much color and texture for the people who are, have been craving that after everything's been white for so long. So it's really fun to be able to see that. Um, like, subscribe. Photos are on the blog. And that I didn't write, by the way. <laughs> Maybe I should have her write it this time. <laughs> no. Do you want I just always feel, I, it's funny because I always tell her, I was like, you sound like a magazine in the... Yeah, which, but, I mean, that's, yeah. But, I'm a little bit more formal than Shelly For Yes, yeah. I like it to be less formal. Anyways, okay. You'll like, I don't, I can't, I can't close it. I can't do it. You gotta do it. It's my job. Yeah, I feel... checking my only job because you interviewed me. You thought you needed to close this out. <laughs> okay, guys, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Follow Tammy's daughter, Lauren... Lauren Douglas. Douglas, and and you can find Living Magazine online. And we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.